We're just chilling. Just winning basketball games. You know, you know, look at this here. This is one of those nights, DMAC, where you just felt, God, you know, it's been a long 10 days. They played a lot of games in 10 days. Mm -hmm. And it didn't look like the magic was going to be there late. <laughs> but a team that doesn't have that and still finds a way to win. And, you know, you got Curry missing an uncharacteristic layup. How many times do you think he, out of 10 – Ten times, how did how many times do you think he makes, makes that layup? Nine. Nine yeah. times out of ten. Maybe nine and a half. Yeah. And the fact that, you know, Thompson at the end fumbled the ball. I mean, yeah. things went the Nuggets way. Let's be honest. Things went their way. But when you're an NBA champion and you have a certain confidence about you, you make your own luck. And I think they did that tonight. Well, a great line from Malone after the game. I'm not the salvation army. You have to earn minutes and just said our bench didn't have it. Our young guys didn't have it. It's a challenge for the bench against that team because Golden State's bench is pretty darn good. They've been very good all season long. And their quarterback happens to be one of the finest conductors in NBA history. It's Chris Paul, right? He's running that symphony. So it's asking a lot for a very young Nuggets bench to come up and play up to that speed. The one thing they didn't do tonight that they've done in other games, they didn't do that helter-skelter thing where they're everywhere defensively. They just had trouble switching. They were out of sorts. Mm -hmm. And you could tell early the bench just was not in the game. Pretty interesting, too, because Malone was honest that he extended Jokic's minutes because it was a national televised game. You probably felt it doing the broadcast, too. Like, everything just took a little bit more time, a little bit longer. You know, and the Nuggets do play a lot of those type of games. Yeah. So should we expect Jokic to get more minutes in games like this? Well, it depends on what they do the night before. If they play, you know, the night before, how many games they play in succession. You don't want to get, you know, listen, it's still early in the season. They're 8-1. and one. They're tied for the best start in franchise history. Is Only two right? other times have is they been 8-1. Right? Yeah. What's, what's the, is this tied it? Yes. So yeah. Uh, the 1976 team started the season 10-1. and one. So that team holds the mark for the best start in franchise. Yeah, think about it. Is it Sunday in Houston? Yes, Houston's the next. And then back home against the Clippers. Uh, by the way, the Clippers 0-2 with James Harden. Uh, the, the Lakers lost to Houston tonight. So that's where they go, to Houston. Didn't they get killed? Oh, badly. I mean, it was like a 20-point deficit at the half, and it was never close. All right, so what have we learned about this team now? If, you know what's interesting? This is the most condensed stretch they have. Yeah. I guess if you're going to have a condensed stretch, you may as well have it at the beginning of the year. Have right? it early in the year when you th still got momentum. Um, this is going to be a tough month because we don't know how many games Jamal Murray's going to miss. Woe's well, reported a month. Yes, and, okay. and so you figure with a hamstring issue, anybody who suffered a hammy, it's not a one or two game deal. That is a, a long, cumbersome recovery because even when you feel fine, you're not fine. So they're going to take their time with Jamal. The last thing you want to do is bring him back too early, and he triggers it again, and then he's going to have to miss another month. So take your time with that. One thing I like is the two-man game of Reggie Jackson and Joker. We saw it tonight. Reggie Jackson scored five of the last seven points. It's great to have a veteran, a veteran presence, work that two-man game with Joker. I don't know how often we're going to see Holiday even play. We, we have barely seen him play. But you want to talk about a veteran presence. This guy has really barely played. And Malone said that's why he's playing. He's a veteran. He's not afraid of the moment, and he trusts him. Dude, that surprised me. Well, it's like going to that lefty, that little-used lefty from the bullpen who's got to come in. Let's go to the lefty. He comes in. He makes a three in the corner. Um, the, the bench just wasn't there. The bench gets outscored 42-12, to 12, so you have to lean on something. And, and the one thing I've noticed about Coach Malone this year, he's not afraid to make those – in-game moves if something's not working where in years past perhaps you sit and wait let guys sort of find their way hey if it's not working go to the next guy and that's what he did tonight all right well they get the win um pretty good um we talked to you about the who's your daddy thing i just believe you it's tyler Columbus doesn't believe you whatsoever but i i believe you when you say you were honest about that moment and um would you would you like to address tyler tyler Columbus is the devil I just want it known. What color is your suit jacket that you're wearing? Uh, I have no idea. You can tell me. What is it? I know it's blue and then some other colors, a bunch of freaking colors like splattered on top of it. Okay. I'm yeah. not even going to argue on that. So <laughs> it's another Nuggets win. And I, I like that they won a close one. I like that they had to, yeah, you know. You, you need that. You do. You're not going to have 15-point wins every no. – you need close games. And if there's one thing this game is, this team has proven, they win close games. I think they've – I think in their last eight regular season games, they're 7-1 and one mm. against the Warriors. Think about that for a second. That's Golden State. 
and they're seven of they've won seven of their last eight against that team. Okay, it's been fun, man. And well, oh, that's it for a little bit for the Nuggets. Um, and then they have the tournament games uh, next week and in Houston, so we get to see Jeff Green. How's he playing for them, by the way? I haven't really followed anything with. He's the, playing, and and I think he had nine tonight. Okay. Um, he's playing, and uh, the other Green, Jalen Green, is the one that carried them in this game. So there's two Greens on that team. Jalen, I think, could be Jeff's son, but he's carrying the load for Houston. All right, well, we got it. We'll kill you with truth, man. My buddy Vic, look at him. By the way, those basketball shorts you gave Tyler were like huge. They were huge. That was me in another life when I was six five, two forty. Okay, kill you with truth, baby. <laughs>